Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Der Bruder Krieg mod. First of all, let me just say thank you so much for the fantastic reception we've received on this new series. It's always good when a series is well received. Now we are back with, of course, Ernstrom. Everyone is national syndicalist in this mod. It's very odd. Like, I, I just... Yeah, it says Strasserist. Like, you know, yes, like, Strasserist has the na na National Syndicalist thing going on. But when you, when you think National Syndicalist, at least for me, I think of Jose Antonio, who's dead in this mod. You know, I don't think of Strasser. Like, I, I do definitely think of Strasserism as its own thing. Well, Strasserism is absolutely its own thing, aside from National Syndicalism. So I kind of wish that, that was replaced with Strasserism. And obviously, you know... Yeah, see, yeah, see it, does make the, it does make the distinction here. But they were both labeled as national syndicalists with the same with the same uh, same symbol. God, I hate that. Either way, we are back. I'm thinking about this uh, second or Bruder Krieg we have coming up. It should be a piece of cake. I mean, we have a large army. We have 72 divisions as Prussia. Hopefully, we'll get the Russians to attack Galicia. Hopefully, get the Romanians to attack Transylvania. The Serbians to attack basically everywhere, <laughs> and get the Italians to attack uh, into Veneto. The Italians will definitely be attacking. I don't know who. I think I think it actually might just be ourselves and the Italians, because this focus says it's is talking about a, a non-aggression pact rather than what I wanted to actually be, which is a full alliance. But uh, I mean, I'll take a non-aggression pact, I suppose. A style pact. Russian Empire gets a non-aggression pact offer from North German Confederation. The Russians assisted us during the First Europa Krieg and were key to gaining land against the Austrians. We must, put, uh, we must put our differences aside and secure the support of the Great Bear. Yes, but I want them to attack Austria. I don't just want a non-aggression pact. A non-aggression pact isn't worth much to me, to be honest. And, and they have no reason to attack me anyway. Austria is the bigger threat. I wish that they'd just wrap up the... Uh, this Japanese conflict over here. It's kind of odd that they went for that. Yeah, they've already lost North of North Galen. Yeah. I, why... Why did you bother with this? Truly. You've got bigger fish to fry. Gigantic fish to fry in Europe. Also, look at this cool thing I found. We can click this and it'll give us an extra 10% division attack and core. Uh, an extra 10% division attack and defense on core territory. For 240 days because we have because we meet the prerequisites. We don't meet this one because we need 94 military factories. Which we are way off. More than 79 divisions. We actually already have 72. But we have to hit both requirements. This we only need 1 million manpower. But all we get is an extra field marshal. He'd have to be a damn good field marshal to be fair. And this uh, we need to reform Germany. Now I actually just realized that we don't have any support artillery in our divisions. Which is a big no-no. So we'll add an extra, that'll get us an extra 12 guns per division. I always assume that, like, the support artillery in a division is, like, directly under the command of, like, high command. Of course, they're all under the, you know, command of high command. But it's, like, it's kind of like they're at the rear more so than any other of these artillery regiments. And, like, it's kind of like the last stand defense artillery for, like, protecting the HQ or something like that. The Russian Empire accepts our offer of non-aggression. Wanting to not have his hostilities between our two countries, Nikolai II has accepted a formal non-aggression pact between us and that no war will come between us. Uh, next military access with them. Gets them at the style pact. Oh, can, can, will, they, will they join? That'll be... Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's just the focus that I've completed. <sighs> so we have focus on European nationalism or push for worldwide revolution. This turns us into the Concordat of Hamburg. Like, we have got so many fish to fry at the moment, and and, and this ends up going us or us going for the United States of America. We don't have a navy to do that. And I absolutely despise the seas navy mechanic in peace deals, because that's not just not how that works. Britain literally used the seas navy mechanic after World War One, and Germany fucking scuttled the fleet at Scapa Flow. It's not how it works whatsoever. Yeah, it is absolutely terrible. Oh, so you can do this if you've got Von Schleicher or Von Mackensen. But you can do this with whoever. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I guess this, this really is the the Goering and Rome path, but I'm not fucking invading America. I mean, for God's sakes, we're Prussia. We have to fight the Austrians. We have to fight the French. We have to fight a whole bunch of people. I, I, I think that the Americans are the least of our worries right about now. Focus on European nationalism makes much more sense. Yeah, this gives us non-core manpower. Also, I'm just a, a Europhile in general, and I'm much more focused on Europe than basically any other continent, because I'm European, shockingly. 
Now, focus on European nationalism and the greater European revolutionary sphere, which grants infantry equipment production costs minus 10%. A treaty that has been called the Stahl Pact to Northern Confederation has been signed between Ernst Rohm and Nikolai II. This treaty functions as a military alliance against the French and Austrians, who are the main opponents of their expansionism. Whoops. Some have debated whether this aligns with such a short-term focus and with the rapidly divergent goals of Prussia and Russia, whether this treaty will last if they manage to beat the French and Austrians. A great tool against the Habsburg. So, are they in the faction now? No. Balls. Oh, damn, you got Bulgaria in the faction? When'd you get that? Or them, rather. Hmm. That'd be a bit of an issue, actually. Hmm. Just kind of hoping to get Greece. It's definitely an issue because Bulgaria still has a claim on Nish. Oh, well. Now, focus on, yes, focus on European nationalism. Before we engage in a more globalist scope. Don't say that. Globalization and globalism, two very different things. We must focus our efforts on nations nearer to our borders who struggle to liberate their people from the oppressive tyrannical monarchies. The Hellenic. Fantastic! I was literally just saying that I want to get Greece. As the current upheaval, uh, upheavals in international politics continue to reverberate through the world, the Hellenic have deemed us to be their greatest chance of surviving these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted into our lines they, that they may weather the coming storm together. I assume th it's this one. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So, uh, George the Second here is backed by the Austrians. Friend of the Kaiser, yeah. And if we could get... Oh, excuse me. If we could get uh, George Grievous here to to take out George the Se He's already in the faction. God damn. I think they were both literally invited at the same time, yeah. Okay. Looks like we'll have a Greek front to deal with. And, jo and uh, jo uh, Grievous here is... Way better equipped than George the Second is. The Austrians will have to put divisions down there unless they want to lose. But I imagine they won't put divisions down there because they just, you know, they've got better things to do with their divisions. All right, that's good. That's good. Of course, that is putting us into direct conflict with the Bulgarians and thus the Russians. Well, at least okay, so. I'll be entirely honest. Once we unified Germany, I wasn't big on the idea of of attacking Russia. It's just a bit too soon for me. You know, these things take decades. You know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Hoy four has to cram it, basically all in between thirty six and forty five. But it's still, I just still didn't like it. But at least now there can be some sort of justification here with the uh, conflicts in Greece. <laughs> the Balkans cause another world war. Who would have Who would have guessed it? Now we're actually going to put this factory into trucks because I am trying to motorize the army. And later on, we'll work on mechanization and armor. What the fuck does my voice sound like that? <coughs> mechanization and armor. Mechanization and armor. There we are. The Indian Salvation Front is gone. This is Candra Bowes. Yeah, Candra Bowes W. Every timeline. Well, except their own. <laughs> Oops. Also, the fact that France was neutral in, uh, neutral in the Europa Krieg is just so odd. I don't know if, I, if I'm ever going to be able to get over that in this mod. It's just very odd. Also, I was looking in the uh, the Austrian focus tree. And uh, look what we have here. Where, where is it? Yeah. United Kingdoms of Germany. Pax Britannica moment. Do we really need to go up with conscription law? Not really. Can we get something better here? No, that would be good. Anti submarine, I don't care. Regrouping, yeah. But you're only a <laughs> Steiner. Army logistics, yeah. There is nutrition, maybe. Ah, there we are. Von Kluge. 15% attack and 10% defense. Uh, do we already. Are you, are you Von Kluge? No, that's student. Oops. None of you are Von Kluge. Perfect. How many people do we have again? 39 million. That's really good. Pumping out those military factories. Fantastic. Got plenty of artillery being pumped out. All of our divisions are fully trained, I believe. No, of course we have. Uh, recently just put in the support artillery, so that's dragged them down a little bit. That's fine. Skirmisher, not going to give you any of that. Also, I should probably delete a couple of saves just to make the game run a bit better. Yeah, Hungarian saves, yeah. Don't think we'll be needing those. Yeah, there we are. Just go with that. 
Delete your saves, people. It makes the game run better. Top tip. I can do do it some oil though. How's the how's yeah how's the navy doing? I think I'm just making yeah I'm just making convoys because I don't want to have to use civilian factories to import resources for the navy because the navy is just not important. Oh, we have the turpets. Nice. Thing that gave us minus five percent consumer goods. Yeah, very nice. Oh, and minus five resources to market. That's decent. That allows us to pull in our imports a bit. Apologies to the dog barking. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. It's not. It is not my dog, and the window is indeed closed. I praise Margaret. That that was uh, for the invasion of Hungary, and Margaret too is for Romania, but it didn't get pulled off. Okay, so we can only do these three. I'd definitely rather get the Serbians than the uh, than the Swedes. We don't really have too much going on up here in Northern Europe, but yeah. We send divisions to Serbia with the explicit intent of actually, you know, getting an ally out of it. Now, befriend the Black Hand. The Royal State of Serbia gets an invitation to the Second Brothers Coalition, the nationalist Black Hand faction in Serbia has prevailed in the Serbian civil conflict as they are surrounded by the Pact Dorfreundschaft. Must provide guarantees to Darda Kara uh, Dardovic. Nice. Yep. More rubber. Probably throw in, actually, a uh, motorized recon company. We'll definitely have enough trucks for that by the time we're finished. Support artillery. Seems good to me. Short on support equipment, alright. That's fine. We'll actually uh, get a line of support equipment. We do need one, to be fair. Oh, yeah, we, we have the uh, Sonderkraft Farazoig Triple Two. I don't know what that is in German. Now, what should we do? I think we cut back here. Like that. That should be enough. 1,500? Ooh, maybe not. Well, we'll start with that. See where it takes us. Of course, we'll be getting more military factories. So that's fine. <coughs> oh, yeah. They're getting pumped out nicely. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Invite Sweden to the Second Brothers Coalition? What do I need to do? Okay, cooling, uh, cooling, current ruling party's national populism. Oh, I think oh, I see, I see. And this is the uh, yeah, Gustav self coup. That's going to put the Nat Pops in power. Fantastic. That'll be great. Faction is getting steadily bigger. Got Greece. Got Italy. We already had Italy. Get Sweden. No, oh, you no longer get the effects of Pact with Britain. I, I would have kept that minus 20% dockyard out, but all game. I don't give a damn about dockyards. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll get Sweden in. Make them crush, or make them crush, let them crush the Danish, definitely. Get some sort of Kingdom of Sweden, Norway. Maybe try and get... Or, uh, Kingdom of Sweden, Denmark, rather. Maybe try and get Norway voluntarily. Try and get some sort of, uh, national populist or resurrected Kalmar Union. That'd be nice. Oh, Fantastic. Our plan to stop tyranny from swaying Europe is making progress. Darda Karadardovic uh, approves of our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. Aha! Another front for you to fight, Austria. To be fair, we probably nearly want to put divisions down there ourselves. At least, yeah, they do have a port, which is fantastic. Because otherwise, he'll just collapse. Now, funding Gustav's ambitions. King of Sweden gets a man Gustav self coup. King Gustav V of Sweden is a man of great ambition, he, but he is limited by the corrupt conservative Swedish government. He'll be instrumental in forming a Scandinavian national revolution. With some support from our military, he can easily crush resistance and institute total control. Direct rule from Stockholm, baby. How long will this take? Shouldn't take too long. 425 days, yeah, by the time the efficiency increases, we put more factories into it, it'll be fine. <coughs> now it's 38. Okay, so, yeah, it's basically 39. Got all that already. Ah, oh, in that case, yeah, get the MP38. That's the MP40. Is it not? Isn't the MP38 the one with the... 
Which one is the one where it's like a combination of a Mab 38 and an MP40? It's like an MP40 but with a wooden stock. It looks weird. Is that the 38? I don't think so. I know the 40 is all, is, is, you know, the classic, you know, El Clasico, all, all stamped. All, or is it stamped? Oh, you know the one. The MP40. Standard German submachine gun. But I think the 38 is just a, a previous version of that. New artillery, fantastic. Bringing 150 millimeter pain down on the Austrians. Ethiopia joins Moscow. No signing of a defensive pact and formation of an official alliance since have been brewing in the Horn of Africa, especially between the Ethiopians and Dervish state over territorial claims. The Russians seeking to counter Austrian and British influence in Somalia have gained a new friend on the African continent. Okay, Somalia is controlled by Italy. Britain is literally nowhere to be seen, unless you want to count that. Westminster and Vienna have condemned the move. What about Rome? Okay, well, this this works even more for uh, for there being another uh, a war between ourselves and the Russians. I'll just get this to ten. Oh, so who won? Damn it! Dutch revolutionaries won. So now we should be able to do this, hopefully, soon. Hopefully, it'll succeed. If it doesn't succeed, I'll be sad. Now, prepare Unternehmen and Margareth. The authoritarian Kaiser dare keep the many ethnic peoples of his empire under his iron thumb. We must exploit this division and launch Unternehmen and Margareth, destroying their front lines and industrial base. Is that, is that like a sneak attack? Is that like a, a Pearl Harbor, but in Europe and on land? And between Germany and Austria? <laughs> oh man, I think I might have failed, unfortunately. Don't think we'll be told. All these building slots, just not necessary. Military command, yeah. Combined arms. That will be useful, to be fair. But we already do have the infantry expert. 200 plus power as well. Oh, he's a genius. Damn. Chief of Navy, Chief of Air Force. Industrial concern. Crop. Yeah, let's just get crop. Cannot stop the pain train of civilian or uh, military factories. It's fantastic. Just keep building, fellas. Keep on building. Somehow our civilian factories aren't decreasing either, even though we're pumping up mills hell for leather. Oh, French are going after the Dutch. First French expansionary move all game. It's January 39. Sweden fail? I think Sweden failed. Oh, Gustav failed. Our operation in Sweden failed. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a shame. Holland has capitulated. Oh. Holland... Holland hate being called... The Dutch hate being called Holland because Holland is just one region of the Netherlands. Yeah, let's say just keep going until we've maxed out our rubber. Yes, yeah, so what is uh, Unternehmen and Margaret? I'm excited to see. Okay, we can only do it when we're at war. Very nice. I think it is kind of a Pearl Harbor, like, big, you know, sneak attack, destroy a lot of stuff quickly. Uh, yeah, probably this. Something we actually need. 
So ahead of time. Now you work. Yeah, that'll give us motorized hardness. Give us that. So that's everything we can do there. This is not. Yeah. Okay. We got a research slot. That's decent. But I've got other stuff to do. And they're all thirty-five days. Like, see if Tilsis. That's not worth it because this is when we're actually, yeah, actually going for France. So, in that case, it's this one. Now, the Untouchable Tyrants. Kingdom of Bavaria, Hesse, Nassau, Baden, Württemberg. They're all cores of ours now. And we gain mortal enemies. Opinion of Austrian Empire and their opinion of us minus 100. Around us loom those who would shackle Germany. Britain, France, Russia, and of course Austria. Okay, France or uh, Russia, no. Russia, Russia wants us to be united so we can, uh, you know, beat the French and Austrians, basically. And of course Austria, the last, is the one we must face first. We must prepare for the last Bruderkrieg. The second Bruderkrieg, the final Bruderkrieg. I wonder how many trucks we need. To make a motorized infantry division. All I know is that it's like far less than you'd actually need in real life. You'd need a lot of trucks. Yeah, like somehow we already have 5,000 men in this division with only 198 trucks. Vienna Ward. More news regarding the Balkans. This time, the government of Austria has administered the handing over of the territory of Thessaly to the Kingdom of Epirus. Oh! Oh. Wait, what? One of their close allies in the Bulgarian administration, Greece received a key piece of their former nation, which has collapsed after the Europa Krieg. Oh. Okay, so that's just the Bulgarian submitting. The king has been hailed as the hero in the streets, while the Bulgarian people grow continuously, grow continuously grow angry with the Tsar's government. The Greeks are now assured to join the Austrian side during the next war. Poor Bulgaria. Hey, Bul why didn't Bulgaria get southern Macedonia then? That's got 1.21 million people, and they've got a claim on it. The, the, the terms of that treaty should have been that Bulgaria gets this in exchange for giving that to Austria. Okay, so now we've actually got a fight in our hands. No, we don't. We still don't have a fight. They didn't get the units. Bulgaria, bad move. That needs to be changed. Bulgaria needs to get this. Bulgaria needs to get something out of this. Bulgaria literally just lost a puppet right there. So Bulgaria has to get this. For that deal to even be remotely fair. 100 factories. Fantastic. Anyway, I was designing that new division. Just put this at the side for one sec. Recon, and the engineers, support artillery. Only 443 trucks to move 13,400 men. That's ridiculous. That's outrageous. Now, defending to the last, or for a free Germany. Yeah, for a free Germany, obviously. We're Prussians, we attack. We seize the moment. Now, for a free Germany, add Vorwart, uh, Vorwart, Vorwart, yeah. Vorwart, which grants division attack. I think it is Vorwarts, one of the few cases where the, the W isn't pronounced like a V. Division attack plus 5%, breakthrough plus 5%, the Austrian Empire attack bonus against country plus 10%. It is not German to sit in idleness, fact, and let the enemy attack. There's no true German strikes and destroys his enemies, and that is what we must do. We will break the Austrians and free Germany. Real. Getting out a good number of trucks. Yeah, 
You know, it literally costs the exact same no matter what. So how many how many trucks would we need? Thirty thousand trucks. We've currently got one thousand. All right. The Bruder Creek will be an infantry and artillery war then. Oh, balls! Here we actually have a choice: tanks, break through an org. Tanks, org, and tanks, and armor, recovery variants. Yeah. Motorized mech. Motorized mech. All infantry and oh, that's so strong, lad. I gotta go this. I gotta go this. Mobile infantry. Okay, cause does that apply to literally all infantry? Yeah, that applies to regular infantry as well. Yeah, gotta go motorized. Makes sense with the, the, the fact that, that we have a much smaller industry than, than in our own timeline, you know? That we just go for a motorization and mechanization rather than armor. And of course, like, I was talking uh, with this about. I was talking about this with uh, Fritz Suvrov recently. Like, like, the half track had all kinds of weaponry on it 7.5 centimeter guns, 5 centimeter guns, Nebel Werfers, AA guns, auto cannons, just, you know. You can basically put anything on a tank, but, you know, we can just put it on a half track instead. And it's way more mobile. Of course, it's way more vulnerable as well, but that's the price we'll be paying. It's also a lot cheaper to produce. You need to be able to customize the mechanized in this game as well. The base game. I know you can do it in, uh... TNO. Might as well get the excavation buffs if we have them. How are we doing on artillery? Ooh, we don't actually have a big stockpile. Okay, get more artillery then. What, what, what are we going to do if they say yes to Silesia or War? And they just give us Silesia? It's kind of going to be it's gonna be awkward. It's not a big... Oh well, yeah, it's got a decent number of people, to be fair, but... I assume there's something after that we can do. Or maybe they're just they're just hard coded to say no. It's probably that. Now more political power to spend. We're already on war economy. In fairness, I mean regrouping that that's always going to be useful. So is uh, logistics. To be fair. I might go GM Prussia. General Motors Prussia, nice. Yeah, let's go for that. Getting a good amount of political power, even though we do have that nasty uh, Bismarck's Broken Dream thing. Now, oh, Austrian Sabotage. 21 days, finally. Decent, uh, decently short focus. We'll unlock a decision to weaken Austria's army. It's not Operation Margaret, is it? We can send in spies to sabotage the Austrians' front against us, therefore improving our ability to fight them. Harbin's gone. Is that a unique capitulation decision? Or event? Maybe I just haven't read one in a very long time. That, do that doesn't seem to be the regular one. Okay. We are getting a decent number of factories now to, where, to the point where we can start considering... Flak? No. Aircraft, maybe. Yeah, I think we need to get a, a chief, of a, a chief of the air force. Ah, oh, shit, we don't actually. Well, oh, whoops. Oh, we get Wolfram. Nice. Maybe just pop it into more trucks. To be honest, try and get that motorization as quickly as possible. Okay, the British don't have more to give. If that's the case, I'll just trade with your puppet. We can just pretend it's the same thing. Maybe thirty-eight. Fantastic. Actually, yeah, that's what we can put it into. Right there. What is the decision? Oh, there it is. Ooh! Minus 10% Division Org, that's fantastic. We're going to be able to hit him with two operations right off the bat. Now, under name and Aufstand. 28 days, 10,000 manpower. 
Bavaria loses 10,000 manpower and gains defections to Prussia. Minus 1% additional recruitable population for 100 days. The rising begins today. You will not let the oppressors break the German spirit. Stand up, citizens. Rise up for Das Vaterland. Propaganda poster in Munich. Be prepared. I mean, we are, kind of, we are prepared. To be fair. We've got our admittedly small air force, which I haven't invested in whatsoever. That's guys, I've been invested in the... It's because I've been investing in the ground forces. Which is more efficient? 61. Just getting there. Damn. Cass is way more efficient. Okay, so Cass, Cass is going to hit 100. Okay, so we'll try this one. 61.8 is what we got. Less efficient. Alright, go there, so. The Howrah Bridge incident. Today, according to source from the London Times, Indian troops fired on a British garrison in the Howrah Bridge in Calcutta. Ooh, Jai Hind. Yeah. Got us more submachine guns. We'll have close quarter city fighting. We'll have to fight through many cities on our way to unification. Also, let's uh, increase the size of these icons here. I do like looking at them. <laughs> I always hate that it had bloody Panzerfaust with the MP30. It makes no sense, lad. Reminds me of, uh, I think I was watching one of uh, Tick's Battlestorm Stalingrad videos, and he, he said th that there was a German account of using Panzerfaust in Stalingrad, even though they didn't exist. Oh, Indian War. British are distracted. Fantastic. That's what I like. Declaration of Greater Tibet. <laughs> Go you. Now, Silesia or war. 49 days. Austrian Empire gets them in Silesia or war. It is time to break the chains to free not just our people, but others. Death to Austria. Italy, get your damn army on the border. <laughs> We're going. Why can't I see Serbia's troops? You son of a bitch. You joined their faction. Hey. That, wait, what? No. That makes no... That makes no sense. Russia supported uh, Alexander I in Serbia. He was trying to kill you. Now you've joined him? God damn it. The Wave of Steel. Before the morning birds had begun their ritualistic morning song, another far less friendly drone polluted the quiet countryside air. A small town lay just on the wrong side of the border. They were the first Austrians to witness the first. Uh, they were the first Austrians to witness. The first town folks came uh, to investigate the sounds quickly, only to find a large column of soldiers streaming through the main street. Oh, now we're going after Afghanistan. There's no hope we're going to get your support against Austria. How are you doing against Japan? Well, at least you're winning. Casualties? Oh man, at least at least you're really sticking to the Japanese, though. Yeah, that, they're doing a good job there. Wait, though, it says that Serbians not called in, but I could have sworn I saw that you are at war with the Japanese. Yeah, so how are you? What makes no sense. Anyway, only to find a large column of soldiers streaming through the main street, a grey human wave ready to sweep away everyone and everything. Despite the soldiers distinctly wearing Prussian and North German uniforms, the townsfolk still got an ominous feeling from their presence. Uh, maybe it was the cold, lifeless expression in, etched into every soldier's face, or maybe it was the implication that soon another stream would find its way into the village, not so disinterested in them. For now, they watched the final vehicles drive onto the autobahn towards the Silesian front. Vorwart, uh, Vorwart's Kameraden. 0.5% base conflict support. Thank you. That 0.5% will surely see us, uh, see us through to victory. Uh, Italy, please get your divisions on the border. Excavation 2, don't suppose we can decrease any imports. Yeah, we, we, yeah we're not even importing any steel at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, start, we're already working on mech. Alright, work on that then. Ooh, MG42 is nice. Oh, sugar! I need to <laughs> I need to train up these divisions, yeah. Also, I uh, fully motorize them. 
we should definitely be able to afford that. Fantastic. Fully motorized or supply hubs, rather. Achtung! Achtung! Actually, this Flieger division. Set it aside from everyone else. Put it under... Blaskovitz. Right. And... Guderian, why not? Achtung! Where's that airbase? There it is. Bereit. Ausrücken. I'm gonna power drop into Vienna if I can. Is it like a big paratrooper division or it's small? It's probably not gonna live if I if I do it. Maybe I should. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna waste experience on that. I'm definitely going to do it if I can, though. If I think I can do it. Do I have a battle plan? I do have a battle plan. Good. Italy, get your troops to the border! <laughs> Please! Please hurry! Very annoyed that Serbia... Was snatched out from under me. Russia must have had a focus or something to, sn to snatch up Serbia. And, and it didn't, I don't know. It didn't take into take into account that their contender in the faction had already lost. Hmm. Oh, damn. Eurasian Federation, what? Eurasian Feder maybe Eurasian Empire would have been better there. Are we going to use our navy in this war? Should we? I know Austria does have a navy. Austria actually had a decent enough navy, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. They even have a carrier. Okay, we'd actually lose that. To be fair, at least got navy too, though. Maybe our combined navies could do it? I'm not sure. Best we just stay out of it. We don't want to lose our damn fleet. At the same time though... Kinda want to. Well what I should do is start importing some oil. Who am I gonna get it from? I'm gonna have to fight Russia so yeah I'll just get it from the Americans. Finish training. Angetreten. Kind of starting to run a bit slow. It's taking a while. Oh man, that's a lot of divisions. Yeah, we're really gonna need. Yeah. divisions do you have? You didn't have that many and you don't have that many. Maybe they're just really big, really small divisions. I don't see any artillery in those. <laughs> that's fantastic. You have no artillery. Oh, that's what I love to see. Prussia demands Silesia. In urgent news, Ernst Rome has demanded the return of the Austrian territory of Silesia to Prussian hands. A third brutal Krieg between the Prussians and Austrians had has seemed inevitable since the Treaty of Vienna was signed after the First Europa Krieg, with Austria likely to refuse the ultimatum. The people of Europe watch nervously on their seats, unsure of what is to come. Oh no! Silesia war. 
Now what are we going to do? Hmm. Maybe rush that uh, research slot. That could be an idea, alright. Yeah, I think so. Modify government. Yes, we'll get the Air Force guy. Vote from uh, Freiherr von Richthofen. Red Baron's a brother. What do you say, Austria? You want to hand over Silesia? Austria denies. The Austrian government has denied that they hand over our core land of Silesia. This is war. Time to die. You know, I'll pop a save just, just in case. You never know. You never know. Because they do actually have a lot of divisions. Uh, oops. A second to Bruderkrieg. The Austrians and Germans have finally mobilized troops against each other with minor skirmishes already beginning in Silesia. The two Central European powers have been building up their spheres and military strength for decades. The Austrians looked to Western Europe while the Prussians watched for help from Italy and Russia and their respective spheres of influence. While the entire world, or with the entire world, on the verge of a major war, it is likely that the conflict will extend far from the reaches of Europe. It will be the war of the world. The concert of, the concert of Europe has broke. I kind of like the fact that this mod doesn't have any super events. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Operation Margaret. Under name and Margaret. Uh, Julia Gombo strides into Goering's office. No, no. Yeah, maybe Goering's former office. Looking determined at Rome, smiled. Vesito, he, ex he exclaimed, What brings you to my home? I am glad you have joined battle with the Austrian oppressor, Gombo said in halting German. I wish to go back to my homeland and prepare for freedom. It's it's not... Are you got No. Uh, Rome chuckled. Okay, Ve was thinking just about that. We'll draw plans to get you in safe and some guns to your followers and you can liberate Hungary. Oh, okay, he's Hungarian. Thank you, leader. Gombo said, bowing respectfully. It is an honor to... It is an honor serving with you Germans to liberate the fatherland. The honor is all mine. Rome said, waving him off. Good luck. May we tear apart Austria for their freedom and ours. Ooh, fantastic. Minus 10% division speed, minus 15% division defense in Hungary. Now, sabotage the Austrians. Minus 5,000 units of infantry equipment is removed from that, the national stockpile. Actually, speaking of the national stockpile. Uh, yeah, so now is the time to take this decision. 10% division attack and defense on core territory. More preparations. Our army is at stands as well equipped to defeat our foes. Such excellent preparation enables us to raise and equip veterans of the last war. Elite soldiers that will help us immeasurably. We will defend Germany. Now this. Austrian Empire gain, gains Prussian sabotage. Minus 10% division org and minus 10% army organization regain for 120 days. So how, how are you doing with the whole... Yeah. If you could intervene that would be great. Russian Empire gets when it has the time come. It has come. It really has. It's here. Fate of the Balkans. Won't do that yet. Are they going to attack me first? Yeah, there we go. So I assume they haven't yet. Yeah, they haven't called in these guys yet. I'm kind of weak here, so hopefully we'll drive them out of this province and take that airbase. Hopefully we're able to hold on all we're able to hold. Oh no, you called in Somalia, whatever will I do? Gains already, fantastic. attack there. What? Can I counter... Uh, can I counter attack a unit you were already defending against? Oh, are we defending? Not bad. I didn't think we were. Oh, sugar. Got a front line against you. in. Okay, we'll just focus. Okay, so now, yeah. Now we're not being attacked. Good. 
Yes! Russia pledges to support our cause. Nikolai II has agreed that the time has come to end Austria and its empire once and for all. Now from all sides, Austria cannot stand against us. We should kill those Austrians. Yes! Uh, where's Russia? It's calling the calling our Hellenic state ally. Italy, you're not collapsing or anything, are you? No, but you do need to get troops desperately back to the motherland. Which you aren't doing? Kind of looks like you're not doing it. A small Prussian right. oopsie has occurred. So it said you crush Austria. Can you crush Austria? That'd be great. Oh man, we should have joined this naval battle. Austrians came out the worst, though, by far. Minor Italian? No, Italian losses, I think. Yeah. Holy shite, they're moving fast. And it's been contained. Vorwärts, Männer. Casualty so far. Twenty-three thousand to two hundred fourteen. That's fantastic. Vorwärts, Männer. Air Force over here. Ah, yeah, there we go. 
Wish we had gotten those events earlier. Oh, come on, uh, uh, Italy. Please do not... You you had divisions all over the place. Where are they now? What the fuck? Okay, looks like we're going to have to put Italy on our backs. to do yes we do that's fine Achtung. damn we've got air superiority over here it's got a lot of aircraft down yes yes thank you Russia Russian intervention in the Europa Krieg, Second Europa Krieg. With the outbreak of the Europa Krieg in Europe, a strange web of alliances were forged. All of the, 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 uh, these webs were tangled with lies, deception, grudges, and glory. Russia, too, was also tangled in the webs. And earlier today, the Russian government announced an official state of war between Russia, who would align itself with the Italo Prussian alliance in the Habsburg sphere. As we speak, Russia has been severely remilitarizing its industries and mobilizing its very large manpower pool. Their troops have already begun incursions into Austrian territories, and the Russian Air Force have begun harassing oh, excuse me, Austrian troops on the ground. Will this intervention finally break years of Haps, uh, Haps, uh, Habsburg domination over Europe and see Russian troops march on Vienna or will Russia become the easternmost domain of the Habsburg Empire? Only time can tell. Into the fatherland the Russian army march. Oh my, yeah, from uh, Panzerkampf. Nice. Alright. Hopefully this will drag in the Serbs and so on and so forth. Yeah, it should do, hopefully. Italy is not doing so hot. Only now just called in Wartenberg, oh my god. Oh, never mind, that's for, uh. Yeah, that's because the Russians have joined, of course. Oh, sweet mother of God. Oh my. Oh my God. Fucking general offensive attack. Put the aircraft over Bohemia. Yeah, sure, you can have that. Naval Doctrine. Uh, yeah. Get it together, Russia, for feck's sake. That's it, yeah, call these guys in. They better have their troops there. Sweet mother of God, they better have their troops there. Take Frankfurt. Gotta knock out these smaller Beckon armies. Knock out the proxies. Oh yes! Ten org for all infantry. Fantastic. Alright, forgot about this. Friday night days. Brothers in our arms, modified the great European Revolutionary Sphere Division, attack 5% attack and defense, resource to market 0%, they get the same. Let's continue to integrate and assist the states of our fellow nationalists in our sphere, the European National Revolution that succeeded at all costs. Okay, yeah, we're, now we're pushing in deep. 
Fall of Prague. Prague, a major industrial city in Bohemia, has fallen into the hands of the North German Confederation. The North German Confederation has recently marched into the surrounding lands of Bohemia and encircled the city. After days of siege, the people of Prague finally surrendered after a violent art uh, uh, artillery. artillery barrage. Troops paraded through the Charles Bridge in triumph. This victory presents more gains for the North German Confederation. Austria slowly falls. Yeah. Tumble. Or fight these guys too. Huh? Right. <laughs> Who the hell else are we fighting? Yes, the weak link. Right. The weak link. Alright. Yes, Nassau's gone. Hess is gone. Oh, fantastic. Los, los, los. Yes, sister our Russian allies. Fall of Krakow. Krakow. Oh, that's bad. No, no, that's good. That's good. Huh? Okay, it's here. Krakow, the capital of Galicia and major holding of the Austrian Empire, has fallen into the hands of the Russian Empire. The Russian Empire had recently marched in. Oh, okay, it's all the same. Polish freedom on the horizon. Nah, not likely. At least putting up something of a fight. It's not a great one. You guys are in now too? That's good. You have to be heavily outnumbered at this stage. Yeah, you are. Good lad. Fuck. Take the enemy, boys. Second Russo. Oh, shit. Russia's got a lot of people to fight right now. They're fighting the Austrians, the Ottomans, the Afghanis, and the Japanese. The conflict between Russians and Ottomans is, is a tale as old as time itself. Whether it is in Crimea, the Caucasus, or the Balkans, the two nations have always found themselves at opposing sides. Recently, tensions began to, uh, began to escalate between the two nations in a dispute over Trabzon. This eventually led to a breaking point between the two, and hence war was declared by the Russian nation, stating the conquest of Constantinople as its casus belli. As the Russian Ottoman troops moved to the respective border to meet the foe head-on, the music of the Cossacks march could be heard from afar. Will Russia finally kill the sick man, or will the banner of the Prophet rise over St. Petersburg? What? No. Blood flows in Anatolia. Ottoman conquest of St. Petersburg. What in the name of God? In, they're already in, but okay. Now hold this, hold this bridgehead. Don't lose this bridgehead. It's no important thing. Casualties. Still only 90k for us. Right, we're not actually short of infantry equipment, are we? No, good. Gonna say that would be very, very bad. Oh, yeah, cut off Nuremberg if you can. Balls Stuttgart is ours.
Okay, fucking demind the Russian territories, alright? The Russians can fight for their own land. United Kingdom embargoes Prussia. Today, Westminster announced a blockade of North German Confederation after heavy demands by HMS Edward VIII. With memories of Prussian annexation of Hanover fresh in the king's mind, he violently expressed his desire or his distaste of Prussia and Ernst Rome's regime. With his marriage to Kaiser Karl's cousin Elizabeth Mary, he holds sides with the Austrian Habsburgs. Prussia's critical North Sea supply lines will be majorly disrupted by the embargo, and they will likely need a new solution quickly to obtain necessary resources for war. Can Prussia survive? I mean, you still somehow get to trade with your puppet, though. Hello. Oh yeah, also I don't need all that fuel. Thanks. Thanks, America. How's, how's the uh, naval war going, though? Angetreten. Wurttemberg's gone. Fall of Constantinople. Constantinople, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, has fallen into the hands of the Russian Empire. Same description. Wurttemberg's gone. That's fantastic. Got to knock out these puppets one at a time. Suchen Deckung. Baden's gone. Fantastic work. Got to be losing. Yeah. Have they dropped below 2 million men yet? No. Uh, yeah, it's over here. Maybe. Probably not yet, though. Epirus almost out. Bavaria almost out. Yeah, Bavaria is the big one. The big secondary. Actually, <laughs> almost taking Vienna. Oh, the, have, we, have we got a foothold across the river? Oh, bro, if we do, it's over for them. Battle of Vienna. Great Arbor Vault. Fantastic new allies. Great China War. Holy shit. So much war. How are we getting all this? Oh, no, no mind. This is Eric and Eric. Actually, no, we need Eric to to design some aircraft. Do not spend it in that case. Red Albania is gone. Juan Italy, yeah, yeah, Italy's holding. Italy's holding. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Sometimes the Austrians again. Did they already do that. Keep doing it. Fantastic. Looks like I should have done that. Click that fate of the Balkans decision. I wanted to wait though. Okay, actually, the war. Munich is under attack. Fall of Vienna. The end of the Habsburg capital has fallen to the armies of the nation of Prussia. The Prussians, after encircling the city with the help of the Panzer Brigades, not true, dug in for a brutal siege. The Austrian armies tried to break the siege and relieve the city with a huge offensive, but soon enough they were unsuccessful. The Kaiser and Stanley were quickly evacuated from the city. Escorted by the Austrian rear guards, the gleeful Prussian troops treated themselves to Viennese beer and, and Wiener schnitzels. At a grand party thrown by the generals, the eagle on the Prussian flag is visible from afar on the St. Stephen's Cathedral. This is a huge victory for the Prussians, and if they keep up the momentum, the entirety of Austria may fall under the German thumb. The end of the Habsburgs. Probably. Quickly check the recording. Everything had better be all right. Yeah, we're over now, but we'll keep playing. We need to knock out Austria. Still got a good bit left to go. 
Munich gone, hopefully. Fall of Munich, Munich, the capital of Bavaria, has fallen into the hands of Prussia. Bavaria's gone. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Jover. Also, he's probably read it by our Air Force. That rough terrain right there. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Uh... Oh. Okay. I don't... Yeah. France mobilizes against us. Breaking their neutrality for the first time in over a hundred years. France has thrown their way behind Austria and will be at war with us soon enough. Send troops to Western Front now. Yeah. Who's the closest? Okay, Herpner's men are the closest. Herpner, get over here as quickly as possible. Shit, we're gonna need more than that, man. And that's only with one division. Immediately being... Oh, I should have called it. I should have had more men in reserve. Knock out the Austrians as quickly as fucking possible. Is that it? Please let that be it. Oh, yes! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, sweet God! We are victorious over the Austrians. Victorious over the treacherous... Uh, victory over the treacherous Austrians has finally been achieved. Or has finally arrived after a century of utter humiliation. We have risen from the ashes and destroyed the old order. None shall, none shall stop the Prussian conflict machine now. Bismarck smiling in his grave. Real, lad. So real. So what did, what did the new borders look like? All right. Pretty damn good. Don't know about these borders, though. Ew. Revolutionary. Oh, that red hungry. No, it's him. Okay, that's cool. And he's my faction. That's fantastic. The Russians got Slovakia. The Russians don't deserve Slovakia. So I got independent state of Croatia. Nice. Yeah. Obviously, they... Yeah, they deserve that. Yeah, the Russians do not deserve Slovakia whatsoever. Because they failed miserably in that war. Uh, actually, I'm going to pop a save just in case I mess up uh, using, this tool, uh, using the tool pack. I've done that before. Okay, perfect. Should we give him that? No. Say we... Say we give the Hungarians this as well. Yeah. Those are some decent hungry borders. Royal state of Serbia. Treacherous bastards. Oh, Italy is, hasn't gotten nearly at the gains that it should. Even though you were shockingly bad in that war, I will give you your territory anyway. <laughs> Still a Greek division down there, lol. Someone crush it. Someone kill him or something. Holy shit, how'd you get all that? good. It's real good. Why do we still have to fight the Japanese? It's stupid. I don't want to fight the Japanese. Russia, take care of that or something. I don't know. Ah, yes. This... 
This does put a smile on my face. Oh, I forgot to use the... Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. It was always a pipe dream. Maybe we can do it against, against the French, though. Got a hell of a lot of factories now. That's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. How many trucks do we have in reserve? 4,000 still need so many more. Do we have the latest tank? We probably don't. We actually do. Okay, we actually have the latest tank. If we have the latest tank, fuck it, we'll, we'll start using tanks then. Uh, where's my medium? Yeah, there, there we are, that's better. Deck out a new medium tank, fantastic. I love how it has the Panzer IV here with the long barrel 75, and then it has the Panzer III here with the short barrel 50. I love Paradox so much. Heavy machine gun, hell yeah. Additional machine guns, armor skirts. Dozer blade, span of fuel tank, extra ammunition storage, sloped armor, smoke launchers, and wet ammunition storage. That is a tank if ever I've seen one. Alright, what look are we going to give it? We're going to give it the... Uh, I think we gotta give it just the regular Panzer III. Long, long barreled Panzer III. I think that's long barreled Panzer III. I think? I don't know, they kinda look all the same. That's definitely long barreled Panzer III. Go over that then. We'll just call it. Will we stick with the name of Panzer III? I think so. This is a beefy tank like 25.61. Pure beef. We could slap more stuff on it, but we already have one of everything. That's kind of what I want. I don't want two heavy machine guns in a turret. Seeing so, I already have additional machine guns. Nice. This thing's going to be kitted out, lad. Produce the ever-living daylights out of this, please. Oh, yeah, it's going to be expensive. We knew that. All that. Don't get me my steel. We have cores and all that already. Oh man, almost 80 million core pop. That is sweet. That is sweet. 71 German divisions redeployed to the French front. Actually, yeah, yeah we gotta fight the yeah, Dutch too. Damn. But alright, let's I think that's where I'll leave it. Uh, yeah, I'll just double check the borders. Of course, if, if I notice any, anything wrong with the borders, I'll absolutely just change them using the tool pack. Let's take a quick look at the facts. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Pactor Bruder staff still exists. Lol. But alright, let's hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, Please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.